Consider the function, the limit, as x goes to infinity of the natural log of x divided by x. Now if x is going off to infinity, the, the bottom here is getting infinitely large, indefinitely large. But so is the top. The natural log of a really big number is still a really big number. So as x gets arbitrarily large, natural log of x also becomes arbitrarily large. What is infinity divided by infinity? Well, infinity is not a number, but, but what is this saying that will happen in the limit? If, if it was a product, if you were doing something like the limit as x goes off to infinity of, of x times the natural log of x, you would say, well, the x is going off to an infinitely large value. Natural log, log of x is still infinitely large. It's something like infinity times infinity, which, which we would just call infinity. We would say that the limit's growing arbitrarily large, right? If arbitrarily large number times an arbitrarily large number is still arbitrarily large. But what's going to happen in this case? Is it one? Is it perhaps you might think the infinity on top is larger? Maybe it's twice as large, so it comes out to be two. Or maybe it's infinitely times as large, so it comes out to be infinity. What, what is going on here? Well, in order to get at this, we need to use a variation of L'Hopital's rule. Recall, L'Hopital's rule said that if you have a limit of some top function and bottom function, where the top function f and the bottom function g are both going to zero, as x goes to a, then the limit is just going to be the limit of the derivative of the top divided by the derivative of the bottom. Well, it turns out that infinity is a very close cousin of zero. You, you might think informally it's something like 1 over infinity is equal to zero. After all, 1 over an arbitrarily large number will be approaching 0 in its limit. So, so if you have infinity over infinity, well, you can rewrite that fraction by saying that's infinity times 1 over infinity, which is the same as saying it's 1 over infinity divided by 1 over infinity. But, but that's really just saying 0 over 0. So, so there's an intimate connection between infinity over infinity and 0 over 0. They're cousins of each other. So it, perhaps it isn't too surprising that L'Hopital's rule isn't just going to work when the top and bottom are both going to 0. It also works when the top and bottom are both going to infinity. So we also have this infinite version of the L'Hopital rule, saying that if you get the indeterminate form infinity over infinity, we can also apply L'Hopital's rule just like we did when we had 0 over 0. Let's see this in action. So here we have the limit as x goes to infinity of ln of x over x. It's not determinant, so we're going to use L'Hopital's rule. So applying L'Hopital's rule to it, we get that this should be the limit as x goes to infinity of the derivative of the top. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x divided by the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of x is 1, so you end up with 1 over x. And that limit, as x goes to infinity, comes out to be 0. So our overall limit just comes out to be 0. Let's see one more example of using L'Hopital's rule here with the indeterminate forms infinity over infinity. Consider the function, the limit, as x goes to infinity of 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 all over 2x squared plus 4. Now, if we just try to evaluate this, if we take x to go off to infinity, the top would approach infinity, and the bottom would also approach infinity. So this is an example of an indeterminate form that's going to require us to use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, what does L'Hopital tell us? Applying L'Hopital's rule to this, we get that the limit as x goes to infinity is just the derivative of the top. 
The derivative of the top is 6x plus 2, all over the derivative of the bottom, which is 4x. Now we can try to calculate the limit. Taking the limit as x goes to infinity, the top, 6 times an arbitrarily large number, grows arbitrarily large, so that goes to, to infinity. And the bottom, 4 times an arbitrarily large number, is also arbitrarily large. So again, we get something of the form infinity over infinity. What do we have to do? Well, we can use L'Hopital's rule again. Since it's of the right form, we can say, applying L'Hopital's rule, that this is just the limit as x goes to infinity of 6 divided by 4. The derivative of 6x plus 2 is 6. The derivative of 4x is just 4. And that limit comes out to be 6 over 4, or 3 halves. Why 3 halves? Well, if you think back to the original function, both the top and the bottom functions were, were growing arbitrarily large. But you should think the top function was growing faster, not just at the rate of x squared, but at the rate of 3 times x squared. So the top was growing 3 over 2, or 1 and a half times as quickly as the bottom function. It was growing in a ratio of 3 to 1. You can think when you plug in something like 1,000, the top would be somewhere around 3 million when the bottom is only at 2 million. So, so the top is growing arbitrarily large, but it's growing faster arbitrarily large than the bottom is at a ratio of 3 to 2. And L'Hopital's rule has given us a way to make that precise. It's given us a way to continually calculate the derivative until we get down to a nice determinate form that tells us what the limit comes out to be. In general, whenever you're trying to do a limit, and it's something of the form either 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity, or it could be minus infinity as well, plus or minus infinity over infinity, we can simply apply L'Hopital's rule and go from there.